to another lesson. And this lesson is on bar models. So this is the first lesson, and it's a first grade lesson. On bar models, you will see this appear in other grades as you grow in your math journey. So let's get to this lesson. Bar models are rectangles or squares or boxes that are used to help us see how numbers are related to each other. They can also help us find out what needs to be solved or calculated. And I'm going to show you some examples. So this is a bar. And here's another bar. So let's look at these two bars. You have this bar and this one. This one down here, we can see that it's one whole bar, while this one looks like it's broken into two little pieces. So this one will represent a whole number. I'll give you an example. Let's say it's the number six. So this whole thing represents six, right? So that means these two would be three, and three. There'll be three and three. If you take a look at this, this bar represents six. And this bar that's the same exact size, but it's broken into two pieces, each piece will represent three. Because it's broken into three, it's broken in half. So it makes sense that three is here and three is here, and together they make this one bar of six. Let's take a look at another bar. Here's another bar, the same exact size. So if this is six, and this is also six, but it's three and three, just looking at this, what do you think this will be? It's going to be six, but how would this be broken? Well, it will be broken into, or it will be represented as a five, and this little piece here would be a one. So you can see, this whole thing is six. This is three and three also six because it's the same exact size of this bar and this one is the same size as this bar here but it's broken into five and one and i will do one more just to further show you this so what about this one it's the same size as six and just by looking at this you know, this piece over here, it looks shorter than this 5, and this piece over here looks bigger than the 1. You can see right here, right here, this is 1, and this looks a little bigger. So, it's looking like it would be something like this. 4. And two. So this whole six is represented here as a three and three, represented here as a five and one, represented here as a four and two. Because Three 
plus 3 is equal to 6. 5 plus 1 is equal to 6. This part is 6 already. And over here, 4 plus 2 is also equal to 6. So you can see this one bar can be broken into pieces and shown the individual pieces. I'll show you one more example. Because the numbers don't have to be 6. This bar represents 8. So just looking at this, you can easily see that it would be 4 and 4. So what about this? Hmm. This kind of looked like, right? Maybe a 5. And a 3. And over here, it looks like it can be a 7. And a 1. So this 8. This 8. Can be 4 and 4. 5 and 3. 7 and 1. So you can see how these. You can see how these bars. Can be used to represent numbers. Because we already know. That 4 plus 4 is equal to 8. 5 plus 3 is equal to 8. 7 plus 1 is also equal to 8. So that's the lesson on the bar model. So remember, these bars can be used to help represent numbers and be sure to go to my next video because i'm going to show you them being used with word problems okay bye